Good morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. But today I'm not going to talk to you about decoupage. I'm going to let you know which five paints you can use besides glass paint on your glass projects. And the first one that I will tell you about is called Zinser Bullseye 123 Primer. And you can get this in the hardware store. It says it's for all surfaces, and trust me, I have tried this on all surfaces, <laughs> and it works perfectly for glass. It also works over those shiny tiles. And this is an incomplete project. This was a mason jar, and I sprayed two coats of this and I just wanted to show you that you could scratch this, chip it, knock it into things. It is not going to come off. And that makes it perfect to use on your glass projects. You can do decoupage over this, paint over it, mixed media. And I'll show you something else. You can also take a piece of lace and use it as a stencil over any clear glass surface using this Zinsser spray. So I'll, I'll include a link below if you'd like to see how to do this. But this is just a clear jar. I took the lace, used it as a stencil, and sprayed again. That was just one coat of the zinser over top of it. And probably the biggest advantage to using the zinser, you can use it as a base coat. This was a dark green wine bottle. And then add any paint over it that you want. And that secures it forever. This bottle is about 15 years old. In other words, I decoupaged this about 15 years ago. Zinser, then I did a faux finish with acrylic paints. I decoupaged and put a few coats of varnish over top of it. This paint is not going anywhere. So Zinser is definitely my favorite of all of these because you can just add anything on top of it that you want. Or you can just leave it the plain white. You can also use soap and water on this to clean it off. Now here's a paint that's a, it's a spray paint. It's called Krylon Looking Glass Paint. I just made a video on this last week. Now I was doing a, I was going for a faux mercury finish, mercury glass finish on this. But this does work as it gives it a really mirror-like finish and it also stays on glass once you spray it on there and you can see how shiny it is it's got it's got a little modeling going on there but that's because that was the look i was going for and i was able to decoupage over it at a top coat here's another bottle where i did a little bit more of the process to age it and again this is something that you can use soap and water on this is another spray paint that is different from the looking glass spray paint as you can see on this surface. Again, you can try to scratch this off. It will not come off. Once you put this spray paint over the glass, it's permanent. And again, I used a vinegar spray over this before to give it an aged look. But you can see the difference here. The one on the left, which also won't come off, is the looking glass paint spray paint and this one on the right is the one that is a metallic chrome finish and even though the caps look identical the outcome is not the same at all this has much more of a pewter look but you can also work off of this you can clean it with soap and water you can see the two caps they look almost identical but they are not now here is a paint that works over glass, but I have to tell you, I put my projects in the oven, my glass projects. This was a clear glass milk bottle that I painted, that I put in the oven, and I bake that paint on there. You want to make sure when you're choosing a chalk paint that it says it's either got zero VOCs or low VOCs. That means it is non-toxic. You can use this on furniture. You can see I've got this. This was a clear bottle. Again, I used two coats of chalk paint, baked it on, and then I did a transfer. Something. This is also something that will last forever. You don't have to worry about it chipping and scratching. 
Although, if you don't put it in the oven, and I just put it in a cool oven, I paint it, I put it in a cool oven, I set the oven to 170. When it reaches 170, I turn the oven off, and I let this sit in there for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then I bring it out, and I begin to do my decoupage over it. But it makes the paint permanent. You can't scratch it off, and it doesn't wash off. I'm not even sure how you would go about removing this paint once it's secured on there like that. I'm sorry to backtrack. What I meant to say is, if I don't put the chalk paint projects in the oven, I do find with the bottles, moving them around, they can chip, it can peel off. Once I put these in the oven, I can't scratch it off. I can't do anything to take that paint off. So chalk paint is a really beautiful option to use because you can do everything over top of it, especially beautiful transfers. And I saved the Martha Stewart multi-surface paints for last because there are a few caveats with this. You can air dry this for, it's either 21 or 28 days. Martha Stewart's paints all come from the plaid craft line and these can and they do recommend that you put these in an oven. Now you put them in a cold oven, you set the oven to 350, you, you let it bake for 30 minutes, then you let it cool down in the oven. I don't work for Plaid or Martha Stewart, but I can tell you that these paints are phenomenal. They're beautiful. They come in satin finishes, metallic finishes, even a glitter finish. They claim you can put them in the dishwasher they do make a decoupage glue, however, I have never put one of these in the dishwasher because I can't bring myself to do it. That said, you can try it if you want, if you'd like to experiment. You can use this on plates. Again, these are all non-toxic. You would want to use this on the back side of a plate and do reverse decoupage if that's what you're interested in doing. But this is another option to use over glass that's permanent. It doesn't scratch off. I used the zinser over this bottle with the lace, so I did a pink satin Martha Stewart paint over the bottle. I baked it and followed all of those directions. I then did a stencil with the lace on this using the zinser. So, and of course, decoupaged it and top coated it. So, that is what the Martha Stewart paints look like. They're beautiful paints. You can get all of these products on my website, and I'll put the link below in the description of this video to my website. And if any of you do experiment with the Martha Stewart paint in your decoupage project going through the dishwasher, please let me know. Check out the Plaid website for specific instructions or if you have any questions on that. Other than that, if you've got any questions about the video, the paints I've used, or anything else relating to decoupage, please feel free to leave me a message. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Upcycle with Decoupage is the name of my Facebook page. If you click like and follow, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. And thank you so much for subscribing. I will see you guys next week with another video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.